Hi, this is Rich at New Life Scientific, and uh, today I've got an instrumentation laboratory. It's an ACL Top 700 CTS hemostasis testing system. Um, the CTS is actually meant for closed sampling, which your tube would be closed, and it would pierce it, take the sample, and then run it. But uh, we've got these machines in. We've actually got a couple of these, and we got them in, and uh, as usual, we always have to purge them. Um, the tubes, the valves, the pumps um, normally always need to be purged and cleaned. Um, but we got, the, got everything done and this uh, machine is actually working quite well. Um, it has the computer with the software already installed. Um, we're going to actually run it here while I'm showing it off. And have Steve go ahead and uh, show us a few things that you can do. As you can see, it's touch screen. Um, we initialized the covet feeder where the belt feeds the, the covets in. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any covets. So um, it's just mimicking them. It does, it does need them to actually um, fulfill that process. Um, but uh, like I said, we don't have them, but it does, everything does work. And uh, he's going to be initializing all the robotics here. You can see um, it's quite a, um, a scene. They, they're quite unique, um, especially these two over here. They have uh, heated probes, and the probes are very neat so they can determine the levels of the liquid. They can, uh, um, they also determine their positions. Um, positioning itself. Uh, on this one here we did notice that it, it does make a little excessive noise so we'll probably be looking at the slides in the back um, to get that out of it. But uh, you can see it's found its uh, waste hole there. But it does initialize. Same thing over here. The, you can see the syringe pumps in the back there and pumping fluids and it's pumping all the fluids through the needles right now. Uh, these are uh, calibrating themselves using the sensors. Um, they're working with the edge of the waste hole there. Very sensitive probes on the end there. They can determine the position and, and the liquid levels of all the reagents. Um, one thing about it, we do not have the racks for any of the reagents or any of the sample racks here. Um, it's just strictly the machine. Um, like I said, they, they seem to be working in excellent condition. I'll come around and get some shots here. You can see the interface plugs here. And then you got the rinse, waste, and clean. Um, we also have no reagent um, bottles over here. Um, we do have the, the waste detector level here and it works fine. Computer down here. Like I said, software's pre-installed on the computer. Ready to go. You'll need to get your racks. And also uh, on this particular machine, you can see right up here, it does have a crack in the plexiglass on both sides. The other one over here, the door over here, um, it's in good shape, but there is that one flaw there. Everything else other than a few minor scratches, looks in to be excellent condition. And you can see the, it's got the ACL Top Family, it's got the version 5.1 um, software. Like I said, touch screen and the keyboard both. Um, really user friendly. Um, it's just programming all your uh, reagents, and all your testing. There you have it. Still initializing, everything is working good. We did all the adjustments on the probes to make sure none of them um, crash. And like I said, good machine. Uh, this is Rich at New Life Scientific. If you got any questions, give us a call. Thank you for watching.